Hi, I'm Maya Faber and in this tutorial today I will show you how to add your logo to an image in Photoshop and most importantly how to batch it all so that you can do this automatically to many images at the same time. So we will start with just opening up an image in Photoshop. This is one of my patterns and then I go to the tool panel that says actions. If you don't see your tool panel actions, you can go to window and actions. And what we will do now is to record an action where we place a logo to this image, which means that you can reuse this action and play it to make the same effect on several images automatically. So click the little options menu in the actions panel and select new action. Now we'll just name this to add logo. Hit record. And you should see that a little record symbol is turned red at the bottom of your actions tool panel. Next, we will place our logo. So I have my logo on the desktop and I want my logo to have a transparent background, so I would either use the EPS or the PNG file. So let's just drag in the EPS for this example. Then I place the logo where I want it and I hold down my shift key, click and drag to make my logo at the size that I want it to be. And I make sure that it's placed where I want it to be at my image. Then I hit enter and then I go to file, save as, and I will just save this at my desktop. And for now, I will just be fine with this file name. Hit save and I will select baseline optimized JPEG, large file, hit OK. After this, I go to my actions panel and I hit the stop symbol. And here I have my new action recorded. So if you click the little arrows, you can see that your add logo actions include that you place this image and that you save your file. Okay, so next step is to use this on several images automatically so that Photoshop works for you. So you go to File, Automate and Batch. And under this menu, you select your action that you recorded. Mine is named Add Logo. And I will select a folder that I want to pick my images from. So I've just saved my images in a folder at my desktop. Hit choose. And here you can select if you want to save and close the file or if you want to save it to a folder. So I will just select a folder to save my file to. Make a new folder on the desktop, which I name added logo. Hit choose. And then I make sure that the little tap box override action save as commands is tapped in. Then I hit OK. And now I just watch Photoshop work. So if you open up your folder added logo, you should see all of your images with an added logo. And that's all for this tutorial. I hope that you find this trick useful. And if you want to learn more from me, you can check out my Skillshare classes. I link to my Skillshare page in the description here below. You can also head over to Instagram to say hi at Maya Faber. And if you like this tutorial, hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel here below to make sure that you don't miss out on my future videos.